Me ya minu ya anas arim ya wanas. Mwani. Ye video bi afa. Eja. Edu bo ahe hon. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Ya yeah, mkwane ya ina ya her video no. Mwani. Mwani. Uh, TV stations be break on the same kind of pay on me, and I neck rank on me. On your match, you buy any of it. And I say, it's you know, young conquer her nice video. No, Galam say economy. Now, your bar, the Akainano, your better as soon as fee, your coffer Ghana, and the Switzerland match, and so life. A high onia won't mean be TA. Ubois. If you are not more, but I say, be I fine. Oh, I don't be I find the unnatural. Say, what's it? Be I fine. Oh, that's right. I said, be I find the unnatural. Say, a genuine. It's a young cop. I am confined video. No, here we are. Pacho, you better so. Sika and pet the day. On your match, you. In 2012, presidential candidate Akufuado was asked how he would tackle corruption, and his answer caused a stare. He would use the ANAS principle, he said. Setting up highly motivated professional groups of young people who will work undercover to unearth examples of corruption wherever they can find it. What I call the ANAS principle. Akufuado would go on to lose the 2012 election resulting in a Supreme Court petition, which he eventually also lost. The Supreme Court of our nation has spoken. The result of the December 2012 presidential election, whilst I disagree with the court's decision, I accept it. After two failed attempts in 2008, and 2012. Today, this year, the lowest rate of growth in our history in the last 22 years under the watch of Muhammad. And he's saying with these statistics that we should give him another chance. We are not going to give him another four years. 2016 would finally turn out to be the year for a Kufuado. I, I, Nana, Adodankwa, Having been elected to the high office of president of the Republic of Ghana, having been elected to the high office of the president of the Republic of Ghana, Akufuado's inaugural address was filled with the promise of a new dawn. A new dawn has arisen in Ghana, which will enable us to build a new Ghanaian civilization, which will be the beacon of Africa and the wonder of the world. The early days seemed equally as promising, with social interventions such as NAPCO and free SHS. From today onwards, no child will ever be denied senior high school education simply because his or her family is unable to afford it. And the pushing of the Ghana Beyond Aid agenda. Since I became president, I've been advocating for a Ghana, indeed an Africa beyond aid. We have to get away from this mindset of dependence. This mindset about what can France do for us. Then, in the second year, we released number 12. The penalty. Samuel Suka. Tiger Eye's football investigation rocked the very core of the sport in the country, shocking the entire nation and resulting in government moving to dissolve the Ghana Football Association. When they went to the port uh, with the custom officials, I know some people were punished. So minimum, we expect that some people will be sanctioned. It shows gross incompetence. Many people are lacking of everything, but poverty is not an excuse for dishonesty. In the aftermath of number 12, Member of Parliament for Asin Central, Kennedy Ejapong, launched an attack on Tiger Eye, raining abuse and threatening to expose our reporters. His smear campaign led to the cover of our lead investigator, Ahmed Hussein Swale bin blown. Ahmed was eventually assassinated by known assailants 
in January 2019. A Ghanaian undercover journalist has been shot dead. Ahmed Hussein Swale was a member of Tiger Eye Private Investigations. He was driving home in the capital, Accra, when reports say men on motorbike shot him three times. <laughs> Surprisingly, there was relative silence from the presidency, apart from a social media post and a statement from the government. The president would later go on to say Ahmed's death could have been as a result of another crime. Press freedom was under massive threat. I really got worried. After I received the news of Ahmed Swale's death, it was so gruesome, you know, the way he died, bullets to the neck, to the chest, just for, you know, trying to help the states become a better place. And for Ahmed Swale to die that way really triggered a wave of terror, a wave of worry in the realm of undercover, I must say. And that really got many of us to take a break hide ourselves even more than we ever did in times past, hide our families. And one would have thought that uh, Anas and his men would have been applauded for what they did, but uh, sinister motives uh, were displayed in certain circles, uh, exemplified by, by Canada Japon, an MP, who was an MP and still an MP, who openly on the television incited violence, invited people to finish him up, and um, and, and within days it happened. And then came the Galamse menace, illegal small-scale mining wars, and still is wreaking havoc among land and water resources in Ghana. The Akufuado government promised to end it by establishing the Interministerial Committee on Illegal Mining. When we went undercover on the status quo, the findings were nasty. We found members of the committee willing to take money to betray their very mandate, including the secretary, Charles Bissou. After glaring evidence of corruption, Bissou was left off the hook with no punishment whatsoever. Followed by lies. So in the video, you can t tell that I wasn't even interested. I didn't know what was really was. happening. I never took bribe, but I should wait in it. No, go straight to the bathroom. No, to go abroad, no, be an animal. In time, no, no, I know I don't punish him. March 2020. 31 days the world is not likely to soon forget. COVID brought the world to a standstill. Fellow Ghanaians, these are not over. So let us all put our shoulders to the wheel. And I'm confident that together, by the grace of God, we shall overcome this challenge. And Ghana began to get things wrong. More controversy came in the name of the National Cathedral. Since gaining our freedom and independence from the British colonial power, Ghana has so far been spared civil war, famine, and epidemics. And the construction of the cathedral will be an act of thanksgiving to the Almighty for his blessings, favor, grace, and mercies on our nation. With the government rallying citizens to pay for its construction. It was not a nationalistic cathedral, but somebody promised it, and they loaded it on us to contribute. In the first place, they told us that we were not going to contribute a quota. For which reason, Yerra Duncan William, or Ketcher, said so we should shut up, because the cathedral was going to build, be built on their own resources that will be uh, uh, regarded, not the taxpayers, but... Not to talk of the scandal of top ruling party officials like Chairman Wontomi involved in mining. 2021, mm -hmm. August 19th. Now, I can tell my name, I can command the regional security council. Sir, Omumano security men. Now, Omufanko asasi abayi diamano so. Na galamse for abasasi, there's no jimu kapa mumufio. These illegal miners have been mining on our concession and in water bodies. I am by this correspondence, therefore, launching a formal complaint to your outfit to assist us with necessary security detail 
to arrest all such illegal mining. Well, you recall that the Lands and Natural Resources Ministry made a declaration that no license has been issued for mineral prospecting in any forest reserve across the uh, area uh, and even in the country as well. And using gun violence to consolidate gains and intimidate others. The video of tax and bandits belonging to Chamaru today engaging in an Meanwhile, the economy is now in a huge mess. The beginning of the year, you could actually get one dollar for six cities, mm. but currently one dollar is actually Oops. going for nine cities, 39 pesos. The dollar is hitting the roof. It's getting to 14 Ghana cities. The truth of the matter is that Ghana has borrowed so much that investors now know for sure that we may not be able to pay that money back. With inflation at an all-time high, cost of living skyrocketing, well, and the CD proving to be the worst performing oh, currency yeah. in the world. Our debt is simply unsustainable. Because of that, investors are deserting our markets. That is leading the government to borrow from domestic markets because it cannot get international investors to supplement. In so doing, it is generating additional forces in the economy that are creating inflation because of the crowding out effect. And the fact that that inflation leads investors to try and dump CD assets and move it to the dollar is damaging our currency. It remains to be seen how the country will wriggle its way out of its current economic woes. King of Morning Shows. I think it's an, it's an issue of um, willingness and uh, obedience um, to what um, Christ would like us to do. Honest, good job done over that period, yes. Until such persons are made to resign or removed, you should not stay a single day longer. This is the time, Your Excellency, to make changes. IMF has never been an economic strategy. Tell the Ghanaian public that this is the last time we are going to IMF. You are a liar. But the man Hold said on. COVID came in Please. to spoil all the plans. Tell me those stories. They are asking questions. They're the streets. They're asking questions. It is obvious, fellow Ghanaian, that you have a government that can. Long before we got into this economic mess, tongues had been wagging on issues of scratch my back and I scratch yours and conflict of interest issues at the Ministry of Finance regarding Minister Ken Ufurieta and his former company Data Bank, Money. as well as Charles Edubaini as Minister of State, formerly of Blackstar Brokerage. Bibini, oh, oh. Tiger Bibini Eye decided to investigate and this is what we found. On June 1st, 2021, the Ministry of Finance released a statement to clear itself of any wrongdoing on the part of Ken Oforiata and Charles Edubaini on both conflict of interest and abuse of office regarding their former companies. The selection process for firms to act as primary dealers and bond market specialists is based only on merit. The Minister of Finance or his deputies have absolutely no hand in the selection process. The process cannot be subject to any manipulations, the statement from the Ministry said. No, Black Star Securities, uh, Edubwai's uh, company, had next to zero market share Money. at the time they were made part of this whole uh, bond, uh, this, what do you call it, acquisition and sale process. No, no, no. While the ministry statement contends that the minister and his deputies have no hand at all in the selection of companies, Regulation 169 of LI 2378, Public Financial Management Regulation 2019, gives him and his deputies the power and authority to approve all companies in the sector. 
Captain Smart. Ken Okuyata and his Minister of State therefore approved their own data bank and Black Star brokerage. Tiger Eye also observed that Regulation 165 of the LI gives the Minister the power to sell government securities. There has been a sale of government securities to data bank for onward sale. Ken Ofuriata, as minister, sells the securities to his own former bank, Data Bank, where he still holds a significant percentage of shares despite resigning from his official positions. Would this not amount to conflict of interest, contrary to Article 284 of the 1992 Constitution? Captain as a country, how do we ensure that we enact relevant laws to prevent coming finance ministers with financial institutions from using their position to assist their own firms or friends? According to Ken Furiata in Parliament, his company Data Bank has made 151 million Ghana CDs, while his Minister of State, Charles Dubois, Black Star Brokerage, has raked in millions of CDs. Should these companies not be made to account for the millions they've accrued as a result of a conflict of interest and abuse of office issues? Captain Smart. Again, King can a minister Rangers. just dip his hand into the consolidated fund and withdraw money without parliamentary approval? Article 178 of the 1992 Constitution is clear that he cannot do so without parliamentary approval. He withdrew an amount of 199 million Ghana CDs for the construction of the National Cathedral without parliamentary approval. The truth of the matter is that a lot of the projects on which we've spent money, for which reason we've borrowed way beyond our capacity to pay back, money. are simply projects that were cooked to put money in the pockets of people that are powerful and close to other powerful people. Oh, yeah, Essentially, cronies of the government. Many of the projects are simply projects that have been cooked to enrich cronies of the government. We must take a scalpel through the national budget and cut every single sign of waste because if we don't do that, we will not be able to create a credible reform plan with or without the IMF. Captain Smart, the king of morning shows. The year 2017 was the beginning of what has become known as the Ghana banking crisis. It lasted between August 2017 and January 2020. The Bank of Ghana, BOG, allowed several indigenous banks to be taken over by private companies between August 2017 and January 2019 after Nana Fuado was elected president in December 2016. They are going to provide financial resources to support the in indigenous banks that would need help in raising the 400 million minimum paid up capital that's required. And number three, they have also said that they are going to be more diligent in ensuring that good governance prevails. That it has been said that nobody is going to lose their money if they have given their monies to licensed banking institutions. We will, we will not have this panic withdrawals continue, okay? Because it is going on and it has gone on because people have been afraid. The crisis is the most severe economic crisis to affect Ghana since it became an independent country in 1960. During this time, the Tiger Eye team became concerned about this and its implications on the economy. Why was this happening? Who was in charge of these decisions? Was the seeming alertness by the economic managers just a flash in the pan or meant to last? Months before Ahmed was brutally shot by yet-to-be-identified gunmen, Tiger Eye went undercover as investors willing to pump money into the Ghanaian economy. The plan was to invest close to $500 million into the banking sector and in other projects, and we wanted those who could lead us to the relevant power players to make it happen. We met with several people who promised to help. They included businessmen, so-called fixers, and even a top Ghanaian lawyer who gave us astute legal advice. He rightfully advised us 
to retain 75% control of the bank we wanted to set up and leave the remaining 25% for a local partner. Yet, none of them came close to the state minister, who is not only a public servant betraying public trust, but a top keeper of Ghana's purse, Charles Edubwahene, then the deputy minister for finance. <laughs> I should explain to you for your own respect. Hey. It's not good for him to have every discussion with you about it. He says that it's also true to their royal will. Uh, having discussion with their kids. You will have discussion with him or her in the open. And then you will die into uh, in a closed door. Mm, so that's what it is. Captain Smart, the king of morning shows. And then you show some of the money. So the money, we have not touched it then, but we wanted that one to be done there. So they have money, but uh, sometimes how to control those money and all of that. You need to be careful. The world will Captain Smart, have you as the king of morning shows. <laughs> no, I, I totally understand. And you know, for me, it's not really about money. You know, I am, I, uh, I'm really committed to my country. Unyamachio, Unyamachio. We can only make it grow if we have investors like you. Mm -hmm. so, sure. You know, of course, you know, we all like money, but that is not the main thing. The main thing is for you. Like, but they can't. You say they have some money to you want to monitor Captain or, Smart, uh, the, the king of morning shows. In Ghana, mm -hmm. okay. and he says that he wants all of that to be dependent on you. And that after one, he comes to whatever he would be entitled to answer. Mm -hmm. But should that be. Would it be an account within if we open a bank for you Why? or open a separate? Hey. Mm -hmm. He said that he on what he come to this call, he will largely depend on your advice. However, if he can get him to even start, whilst we are on the process of opening this bank, okay. he will land it down. No problem. We can manage. No problem. Edu Bwahini was then presented with some money by the investigators who posed as investors as part of the undercover sting. He would like to know the percentage that he would take for him. It is not a problem. You know, it's hard to come up with a percentage because I don't know the amount of work involved. When it comes to the percentages, he says that, for instance, if you have a hundred, you can't have a hundred. He said that it's too small figure for me to understand. Unyamachio! Yeti Captain Smart! Oja! Captain Smart! The King of Morning Shows! Okay, what he's saying is that he made this thing. Why you enter Chief's funds? There's a reason why Chief's goods were acquired. So he should have offered that acquired for you to do shopping. So he should have shopping. And so for you, before we finish our discussion, Captain Smart, the king of morning shows. He says that he knows what I would like to do in the form of challenge. But this is just to go for a short procedure. So we want to do a lot of businesses in that. So once we give him an indication of the percentage, after being briefed of our plan, Edu Wahine offered to earn 20% commission on the potential deal and mapped out a strategy we could use. Before then, he admitted to owning a real estate company, opening himself up to conflict of interest issues. Hey, you know, it's, 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 
I owe myself a real estate company. So we go to the real estate. You know, we, do, uh, we just finished an office block. We do residential, blah, blah, blah. You know, usually the projects are about 15 million on 20 So now, if we say, Captain Smart, I want to do two projects, you know, each one we are building affordable housing, we want to do a thousand units of Coming with me, let's share that opportunity as equity. We normally make a return of maybe 25% return, 30% on equity investment when we do these projects. So then you say, okay, fine. If, if I bring the whole 50 million for the project, you know, 20% of it is yours. You know, whatever return you make on that 20%, you give that one. Or 10% or something like that. That's, that's a way we can do it. Or we can say that we okay, define, you know, put the money to work, invest in so so and so and so, we'll give you a 10% finance fee, and then we'll give you a share of whatever we then would make on the you know. That is something we can do. So it's up to you and how you're comfortable with that. You know. Captain but Smart, I, I don't want to make the king of 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 If they can get that money as soon as possible into Ghana so that we can use, use it to start some of this commitment that they are not trying to do in Ghana and to refer. Yeah, yeah. You know, graduate. Exactly. Yeah. They mentioned that I forgot to add that. If you are looking at the figure of 500 yeah. million dollars, how much percentage those who are going to involve, who will be there? Yes. Okay. How much do you think that you should be entitled to? For him, that's how he is. From the way who he wants to know, yeah. I think, clear cut, what are. The person that is negotiating with you, what would be your kind? Okay, who do you think is fair? Uh, I think it will be The sense that for every few offers you anything, it will be unfair even to you. No, no, It is not expected. No, no, no. It is important that he tells you what he thinks. That would be unfair. It is important for me to be satisfied. This is. The, the, the quantity, the thousand is worth it. Yeah. Yeah. He believes in that kind of scenario. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's tough. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jake, uh, what's the right address? What should I call you? Yeah, Shake. 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 Yes, Shake. 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 Yes, every prince is Shake. 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 20%. I will be happy. Once all of this is now, we can extend it to the rest of the places and work it out as quick as possible. I'm surprised. I thought you said, oh. <laughs> so, you're so, so interested in you leading him to the power dives. Yes. He said he knows you are part of the power dives. Yes. However, he wants you to lead them to other powers that so that we can once we are establishing and we should have that influence as well. Yes. And you will commit money to this project as well. He spoke about how the Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Baubia, will be key to the plan at the operational level and how it is important for us to know him. I was just saying that I have to introduce you to the vice president. Sure. The vice president is a very good man. Yeah. He, he used to be the deputy governor of the Bank of Ghana. Yeah. So he might tell me what come to the front of the Bank of Ghana. He was very happy about that. You know, and he's a good guy. So we got very close to him. Good relationship to that. Yeah. So I was even thinking about that already. To see him in fact, he was supposed to be coming to go with us to uh, 
the Singapore if I couldn't make it here for Singapore. Mm. So we have to arrange, but I think it's important that it's somebody that we bring in to understand. He also spoke about how President Nana Akufuado is like his uncle, having been the former campaign manager for his late father, Professor Edu If we, if we, um, uh, I mean, the president himself is also it's like uh, so yeah, he's, uh, he was my father's campaign manager. Uh, uh, so he will also be, but you know, at the operational level, the vice president is the one who knows everything. So he's the guy. President has a large family of siblings who have to be put in charge of various projects in order for the plan to work. He has a big family. Yeah. Vice President has like five or six brothers and sisters. So what's going to happen? I want to do this for you. Do you have someone that I have to do? And then he will use that to put his brother to work with us on one particular project. That's how we Giving the vice president two hundred thousand dollars as a thank you token would be enough, Edwin said. I mean, he himself, if you give him some two hundred thousand, also he has a token, he has a thank you for That's fine. He's not really here. Yeah. Yeah. And very, and he doesn't have to do anything. He's a very good man. He needs to worry about this. He's not doing well. In 2020, yeah, yeah. you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And his development sure. of business is here. So, you know, there are some areas that he's very keen about that we've been working on um, the railways, development of the railways, mm -hmm. oxides, refineries, some things, you know. So, once we go, we sit down with him and demonstrate that you're very keen to do this. I don't think it will be a problem. Especially the bank, if you tell them how the bank will be very hard. They do why any admitted that the cash gift would do a lot of shopping and then proceeded to gather it into a polythene bag. Captain Smart, the king of morning shows. Onyama 
After which he left the meeting visibly satisfied. <laughs> The lack of due diligence by a government minister was baffling to us. Was this how government officials conduct business that concerns an entire country? Until we are able to sacrifice the desires and the benefits of the powerful for the many, no one would trust Ghana to start bringing their money back. Captain Smart, the king of morning shows. Captain Smart, the king ah. of morning shows. So that's it. Um, the most important part of the show of that uh, documentary put together by Anas Remyonas um, and Awashenu. I'm sure at a later time, um, it will be shown again on Onia TV for you. But the American said, I am penning for no, maybe be a while, because you're talking to a shaker, or yeah, less than 40 years, okay? And then you mentioned Professor Dubuahe. And then Obeyano said, Oh, that professor of history. Maybe I ring a bell. Really? Anyway, um, Ah, Brandt, you a friend of Sikano. Why? Sir. When you try to show on feature, you don't bring no answer. I'm going to do it for Cause why are you careful? Sika, I'm paid the day. Sika, but you know why you did the beer when you nasso. Jackson, I'm not the boy. Now, well, you're not quite enough here. President is where you need him. And now. I see any issue about the warfare matter to the office of the special prosecutor. Intino, yeah, she may be at the end of the car But I think that my chef video ni dia video ni ne kasi bi owa. Pan hua actually ne be inti. Was my shot di ni dia ibi techi. Captain Smart. As a way to hear the celebrity of morning shows. Ahmed, ne kwa okono. But me shad yeli dinya. Onuya? Ebi, ewechre. 